Okay? So now let's uh, revise 2017 paper one and uh, similarities and congress. So it said uh, in the diagram below, AB is parallel to PQ. Okay? So they are saying uh, AB is parallel to what? PQ. So these lines are what? These are parallel lines. No wonder they are, they are going the same direction line. They are going upwards. So these arrows, okay, representing or showing to say the two lines are, are parallel. Are we together? Yes. Then they are saying AB from A to B this is 12. 12 centimeters. Then AB from A from A to B is 6. Are we together? AB is 6. Then uh, CP is 3. A uh, CP is 3 centimeters. Are we together? Yes. yes. Then the person is saying, uh, write the ratio CQ to BC. Uh, they want us to write the ratio uh, CQ to uh, what? CQ to BC or CB. Are we together? Now remember what I said. Remember the property. Uh, which I said, where I said uh, ratios of corresponding sides are what? Mm -hmm. Equal. So you can say, since we don't have uh, C, Q, and we don't have uh, B, C, it's going to be a challenge for us to find the ratio. Right? So the best thing you can do, the simplest thing you can do is just apply that property. So we can get, uh, so what you can do is we come up with two triangles. Because we have got a small triangle and a big one, right? So let's do this. So we have this. Uh, this small one, take note, this is our small triangle. Are we together? Then we also have this big one, eh? We also have this big, big triangle. Are we moving together? So in this small one, this is a C, this is a P, and then this is what? Q. Then this one is parallel to this one, eh? Uh, then in this big one, this is C, and this is what? A, and then this is what? B. Are we together? Then in this small one, guys, this is what? 3. 3 what? Centimeters. Then now, let us look at the corresponding sides uh, of uh, CP on the other side in this big one. Right? So this is 3, which is CP. Now what about CA? CA becomes what? Uh, 6 uh, plus 3 or 3 plus 6. Right? From this point to this point, just at just the, uh, 3 plus what? 6, you get what? You get 9. So this side is what? 9, say? Nine centimeters. Are we together? Yes. Then uh, this other side is what? Twelve. Okay, we have what? We have twelve centimeters. Are we together? Yes. So what you are going to do is you are saying ratios of corresponding sides are what? Yeah. So you can say since we want uh, CQ, uh, C, CQ to what? B, C. Now CQ is it from a big triangle or small triangle? Uh, CQ from a small line. Yes. So I say so it's from a small line. Small triangle. Then B is from what? Big one. Are we together? So ratios of corresponding sides are equal. So let's get now uh, another pair of ratios which we have now. So we're going to get a small line. Okay? We can get this one line. CP. Are we together? We can get since we're starting a small line. We get CP. Uh, CP to what? Uh, CP to C A. Are we together? To what? C A. So remember, this one is from a small one. So you can say small. Then uh, C A is what? From a big? From a big one. Are we together? Then you can move on and say C P. Uh, C P is 3 A. It is 3. So I put 3, 2. What is C A? C A is 9. Very good. Nine. Okay, this is the ratio, but they are saying in its lowest step. When they say it's lowest, they mean to reduce it down. <coughs> so what is the highest common factor of 3 and 9? 3. 3, you can go into 3 and into what? 9. Then you move on. 3 into 3 is what? 1. Then uh, 3 into 9 is what? 3. This is our answer. Okay? Or directly, you can use this other method. Where you first uh, find this one. Are we together? You find this one by using Pythagoras theorem. So, Let's find uh, this one, which is BC. Yeah? Let's find BC by using Pythagoras what? Theorem. Okay? Since we have got this is 90 degrees, are we together? Then this is 12 and this is what? 9. We can use Pythagoras theorem. Is it okay? So let's use Pythagoras theorem. So I'm going to say, since we want BC, you can say BC, look at this one. Uh, BC is equal to square root, 
square root of what? 9, take note. 9 squared plus 12 what? 12 squared. Out there. So BC is equal to square root. 9 squared is 9 times 9 is what? 81 plus 12 squared is 12 times 12 is what? 140, 144. Then we say BC is equal to square root. Uh, 81 plus uh, 144 get what? 225. Very good. So BC is equal to square root of 25 is what? 15. Are we together? So this is what? 50. 15. From B to C it's what? 50. 15. Okay? Now, this is 15. Now let us find this one, right? Eh? Okay? Let us find this other one. This other one. So what we are going to do next is we are going to use similarities and congruence now. Okay? We want to find uh we want to find what? We want to find uh, CQ, right? This one. BC is what? 59. BC is what? 15. Now let's find C what? CQ. So for us to find CQ, we are going to use similarities and congruence. So I'm going to say uh, C, CQ corresponds to which side? What's the corresponding side of CQ? This one corresponds to this one, right? Yes. Okay, how it with? So this one and this one, they are corresponding out with. So CQ is from a small one, right? CQ from a small one. Now, what is its corresponding side in this big one? It's what? B, C, which is what, 50? So we say 15. Are we together? It's equal to, you can also get another pair of corresponding sides. Are we together? So we need to start from a small one, which is what? CP, eh? CP is what? 3, eh? So 3 corresponds to which other side on the big one? CK, which is what? 9. So you put 9 here. Eh? Then you do what? Cross multiply. This time, this starts by that. Okay? So 9 times CQ, get what? 9 CQ. It's equal to, you can now multiply, uh, just say, uh, 15 or 3 times what? 15. Okay, then you say for us to remain in CQ, divide both sides by 9. This side by 9. So 9 into 9 are going to be small line. 1 times CQ, get what? CQ is equal to take note uh, 3 into 3, 1. 3 into uh, 9 is what? 3. Are we together? Yes. Then you can proceed and say 3 into 3, 1. 3 into 15, 5. Are we together? 1 times 5 is what? 5. So C, CQ is what? 5. We can now find the ratio. The ratio they are saying find what? CP. What are they saying? Is it CP? CQ. CQ to what? To BC. Are we together? To BC. So what is our CQ? 5. 5 to what is our PC? Uh, 15. Are we together? Yeah. Then in its lowest name, we divide both sides by what? Five. five. Inside side by five. Five into five is what? One. Five into fifteen is what? Three. This is the what? This is the answer. Are we together? Yeah. Yes. So you can use any method, but the simplest one, just go for the property. Right? Just go for the property. Ratios of corresponding sides are what? Yeah. Are equal. Let's look at 2018 uh, paper. One, extend. <laughs> In the diagram below, B, E, and C, D are parallel. Take notes. Uh, B, E. Uh, this one. Hey, guys, can you be quiet? Uh, B, E, and C, D, these are parallel. Are we able to see? These two are parallel in D, D, B, E, and C, D, these are what? These are parallel. Okay? Then uh, A, B is equal to 2 centimeters. From A to B, this is 20. This is a 2. And then uh, B, C, from B to C. This is what? Uh, 4 centimeters out together. Then CD from C to D is what? 4. This is 12. Why? Then the question is saying, uh, find in its lowest terms the ratio BE. Okay? They want us to find what? BE to CD. Uh, BE to what? CD. So I'm going to say BE to what? CD. Are we together, guys? Now we need to know that in this case, a B E is it from a small triangle or big triangle? Small triangle. Huh? Small triangle. Small triangle. Okay. What we mean is let me first uh, come up with two triangles. Right? Yes. I will do this one to know what I'm talking about. Right? We, have, we have this small triangle. Right? Then we also have a big one. Big one. So our small. This is A. This is B. And this is what? 
Is it okay? Then our big one, this is A, this is C, this is what? D. And these are parallel, right? Our, this is our small triangle. Are we together? Okay, this is the triangle I'm talking about. I want to be small, right? Okay? And then in this small one, this is two, right? Two centimeters. Are we together, okay, guys? Then in this big one, uh, this is what? This is 12. Are we okay, together, guys? This is 12. Then in this uh, big one, what is AC? Look at this one. From A to C, just add uh, 2 plus 4, get what? Six. So this is 6. Are we together, okay, guys? Yes. Very good. So now, we are saying we write the ratio uh, BE to CT. Okay? BE yes. to what? CT. So BE is from a what? Small, right? So I say this one is from a small one. Small. I'll just put a sign. Yes. Then CT is from a big one. Just put BI. Yes. So it's equal to. So we're saying ratios of corresponding sides are what? Are equal. So now, let's get uh, two ratios which we have. So in this case, we have this one. Uh, we have this one. From this point, we have this one, right? We have this side and this side, right? Yes. So it's from a small one, it's AB, right? So AB, this is our small side. So small, two, a big one. So this one, what is this corresponding side? A, C. <coughs> A, C, which is from a B, a B one. Out where? So we can say it's equal to what is our A, B from A to B, it's what? Two. So just say two, two. What is our big one? A, C. Six. Six. Out together, guys. For us to remain with, uh, for us to reduce, sorry, in its lowest term, divide both sides by what? Two. By two, even side by two. So uh, two into two is what? One. one. One, two, two in two, three, uh, six, what? Three. three. So this is our ratio, right? Yes. Just using the proper ratios of corresponding sides are what? Equal. But alternatively, others may prefer to use uh, similarities and congress direct. Okay? Let's now you use this other method, die. This other method we use, the Okay? For the sake of revision for paper two, right? Because paper two, usually you have been asked to find the site. Okay, the name. Okay? So it's supposed to be attributed to this other method dying. It's supposed to be used. So now, guys, we want what? What do we want? We want uh, BE to what? CT. Okay? Now, do we have BE? B we don't have. Aye? B we don't have. Aye? So we're going to say, but CT we have. CT is what? Stop. So let's find what? BE. Are we together? Yes. So then say BE. Now let's do this one. BE. What is its corresponding site? BE. Correspond to what? C, D. Is it okay? Yes. C, what? D. Is equal to, now, take note. Uh, B, is it from a big one or a small one? Small one. This one is from A, from a small one. From a small triangle. What about this one? Big one. Big one. So you need to maintain. If the numerator it is a side from a small one or this other side, you also maintain on the other side. Then. Okay. If it's this side, the numerator should come from a small one. Try out together, guys. <coughs> so now, which side are we going to get? A, B. Right? So A, B. It is also from a what? Small. <coughs> are we together? What is its corresponding side? A, C. Is it okay? Yes. A, C. It's from a what? Big one. Are we moving together? Now, do we have uh, B, E? We don't have B, right? This is what we want. So it says B, E over, what is it? <coughs> C D is what? Pro. Is it okay? Yes. Is equal to do we have A B guys? Yes. A B is what? It's two. So two over. Do we have A C? Yes. A C what is A C from this point? This point is what? Six. Very good. Over six. Are we moving together, guys? Then cross C multiply. So B E times six. Six B E is equal to we are multiplying uh can you go direct? Yes. Twelve times uh 2 is what? 24. 24. Then for us men with uh, B, E, divide both sides by 6. This side by 6. These two are going to buy. B, E is equal to uh, 6 into 24, get what? It's 4 centimeters. Fine. We can now uh, find the ratio, which is what? B, E to C, D. So what is our B, E? 4. What is our C, D? Four. So what did? Four. So they are saying it is no stem. So divide both sides by four. Okay, so over four. Over four. Four into four, one. Four into four, three. 
this is our answer. This is our answer. Okay. Okay. Let's look at the last one, which is saying uh, in the diagram below, BE is parallel to what? CD. So BE is parallel to what? CD. Are we together, guys? Okay? Then BE is 4 centimeters. BE is 4 centimeters. CD, CD is 6 centimeters, right? And AC is what? 10 centimeters. So just use uh, the proper time. So here what we are going to do is the best thing you can do is you just uh, come up with two triangles, right? A small one, a we together, guys, and a big one, a big one. Is it okay with you? So our small one is the letter what? Letter B. Letter what? E. Very good, guys. This one is letter what? A. In a big one, letter C. Letter C. Very good. And these are what? Parallel. Okay? So guys, now, in our small one, what is this one? Remember, this is our small one, right? Yes. This one, how to be there? So this one is what? Is it five? Yes. We don't have. This one we don't have. You cannot say it's five. Are you sure that uh, B is a midpoint? So this one we are not sure. Right? Yes. We are not sure it's five. So don't make a mistake, again. Eh? Even if you have ten, you don't say it's five, it's five. No. Hey. Look at this one. Did you say this is four? This is also four. No. Did you see, you see nine? Yes. This one, we are at B, but this B was not a bit point. This one was two, but this one was what? Four. They are not equal. So this one, you cannot say, just because it is 10, you cannot say this is uh, five, this is five. No, in mathematics, we don't uh, just predict, we don't guess. Find the actual fact, right? Okay? So what we have here, we don't have this one. Right? Okay? So what you can do is, you can just say, but this one we have, right? This one is what? Four centimeters. Okay, from a small one. Then the big one, this one is what?